Have you been good all year? Or have you been naughty? Santa knows, because today is Santa's list day! Me and all the other Santa elves have been all over the world, checking up on children to see if they've been naughty, or if they've been nice. Thanks to the hard work of us elves, we've given Santa two lists. The naughty list and the nice list. Our short list contains the names of a few children who have been naughty. I hope you're not found on this list, Wiz Kids. But on a much longer list are kids who have been nice on you. Which list do you think you're on? So, Wiz Kids, if you think your name is on Santa's naughty list, you still have a few days to do something nice that might just get you moved on to the nice list. Be working on it. I'm Elf Jazz, reporting from the North Pole. Hello? Hey there, Eros. What? You're sick? Sure, I could do that for you. What are friends for? That was my friend Eros. You know, Cupid. No, not Santa's reindeer, Cupid. The god of love. He's asked me to take his place this Valentine's Day. Poor little guy. I hope we do a good job, because for a little guy, he sure does a lot. According to myth, Cupid is the son of Venus, the goddess of love. He's usually shown as a cherub, a childlike angel. It is said that if Cupid hits you with one of his arrows of love, that you'll fall helplessly and madly in love with the next person you meet. Mom, where did I put my wings? Oh, right. I got my wings. I'm almost ready. Oh, this? Well, sometimes Cupid wears a blindfold. Why? Because love is blind. Oh. Okay. Maybe I won't wear a blindfold this time. I'm Jasmine. I mean Cupid, reporting for WKPN. Watch out for those flying arrows. I'm Dr. Brushalot with some important info on your teeth. My able assistant, I Do Floss, will be of important value to me for me today. Your teeth come in different shapes for different jobs. Your front teeth are called incisors. They are sharp and used to bite your food. Next to them are the canine teeth. They are sharp and used to rip your food. Inside of your mouth are the molars. They are used to chew your food. Your teeth grow out of your gums. Your gums are firm with pink skin. You need to take care of your gums also. Whiskers, remember to take care of your teeth. After your baby teeth fall out, your permanent teeth will grow in. You have about 32 of them to keep in tip-top shape. Here's your new toothbrush, I do floss. I'm Dr. Brushalot. Thank you for having me on your new show. Hey, Whiskid crew. Dr. Mayflower. Come again? What? You don't know what the Mayflower is and you're writing it? What a shame, what a shame. I'll have to remind you then. The Mayflower set sail from England on September 6, 1620. After more than two months at sea, the programs finally arrived at Cape Cod on November 11, 1620. My Mayflower was a good sturdy ship. The ship was 90 feet long and 26 feet wide. 
A Mayflower used to smell like wine. <sighs> but soon, it became the most smelliest ship I ever smelt. On the long trip, the pilgrims made it to Cape Cod, an area which is now Massachusetts. Now do you know what the Mayflower is? Good, good. I'm Captain J, reporting for WKPN. Now do me a favor, dock my ship. Hurry up, I don't got all day. Hey there, Wiz kids. Me and my good friend Sparky were just reviewing some tips for fire prevention week. Sparky is the mascot for all things fire safety. Aren't you, Sparky? Sparky speaks for the National Fire Protection Association. It's their job to keep our nation informed on all things fire safety and prevention. Fire Prevention Week came out of the National Fire Prevention Day that was started by President Woodrow Wilson in 1920. President Wilson wanted people to remember the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. That single fire was responsible for killing over 250 people and burned down over 2,000 acres of the city of Chicago. 2,000 acres? That's bigger than all four Disney theme parks combined! Legend has it that the fire started when a cow kicked over a lantern, which burned the barn and the city to the ground for nearly two days! This changed the way people thought about fire safety. In 1925, President Coolidge proclaimed that the week of October 9th should be observed by fire prevention. Each year, the National Fire Protection Association selects a theme that they think is important to focus on. Sparky, do you remember that this year's focus is on the kitchen and what you and your family can do to prevent fires in this part of your house? The kitchen is the most common place for house fires to occur. Sparky and I are checking out my kitchen with this checklist we made. Mm-hmm. Yep. Our kitchen's looking good. Now off to check our smoke detectors. I'm Jasmine reporting for WKPN. Come on, Sparky.